Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I'm Daniel. I'm Rex. Mm. This is Whiskey. Mm. Doing the whiskey on the YouTubes. Mm. Now we're going to drink and make up stupid <laughs> to say about the whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we should make that the intro of every show. <laughs> All right, we're doing Westland because hell yes. Yeah, Westland, so. Okay, so this is from you know, Kirk Castro, a magnificent. Kirk Castro, you magnificent. I don't know which was the front. You magnificent bastard. <laughs> Like, I can't tell. Which is the front? Where'd it go? There's like two labels. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> that's the front. That's the front. But look at that. But that's the explanation. Who knows? Who cares? All right. So aged in coffee style and American cherry sour beer. Yeah. Cask. So that's a style of beer. And in case you didn't hear that, American cherry <laughs> sour beer cask called Crike or Creek, K R I E K. It's a it's a Belgian style beer made from ch sour cherries. Okay. They worked with a brewery called right. Black Raven Brewing. I like that name. Me uh, too. So you, this being Westland, do you know what I'm hoping to get out of this? Whiskey? That coffee. What? But imagine when they age it in the, on, the nuttiness. The nuttiness. Yeah. The coffee elements. Yeah. That is. But then they also put it back into a coffee style. That beer. is a very rare. Rare flavor that I get in whiskey, and it very often shows up in the Westland. Mm -hmm. I hope their their coffee stout American cherry sour beer cast stuff didn't hide that element because that's right? what I really dig about Westland whiskey. So one of the many things that's great about Westland is how they consistently try to build relationship with other makers in the community. Oh, right. On. So they regularly share casks with other places. Yeah, yeah. And the only understanding is when you're done with it, we we don't. Have any say over what you do with it. Yeah. Do whatever you want with it. Right. But when you're done, send us back the barrel. Okay. Oh, so they want to be able to continue to... <clears throat> Interesting. Right? Yeah. And so that's what this is. They just handed over barrels to Black Raven. Yeah. And they're like, look, do what you want. When you're done, yeah. please send it back to us. Sure. Uh, so, there's a, it's like a perfumey potpourri. This is way more perfumey than any Westland I've ever smelled before. Wicker element in there. And then there's a round cream... Yeah, it's like a, what is that, a creamy caramel but with something heftier inside mixed in with that. I keep wanting to say coffee, but I feel like that's just too, uh, I'm suggestible on that. There's a, well, there's a, there's like a floral element mm -hmm. in here. Oh, there is the coffee. Woo, dog. Oh, ho, ho, ho. yeah, that just came full force. Wow. The most that direction of any Westland I've ever oh. tried. So here's what happened. It's like, man, Daniel, 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 Daniel. <laughs> yeah. I really hope that there's a trace element of one of my beloved flavors in this Westland. Double down, double down, double down. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it like filled the whiskey with all the flavors and then got these giant injection pneumatic <laughs> needle type of things and just cranked up the coffee nuttiness, man. Wow. That is the hero. If you were a fan of that note, this takes it to almost an uncomfortable level. Whoa, yeah. I, right. I love that note. Ow. But my God, it's like they took that note and made it what peat smoke is to Isla whiskey. Right. That coffee nuttiness is to this whiskey. That's phenomenal. Uh, Whoa. For, me, for me, there's going to be some people that like can't hit, they don't know what to do with it. I really dig that. This is one of the more dramatic mm. Westlands I've ever had. Oh, man. And it's the, you got to be ready for the bitterness of black coffee. Because that bitter element, mm -hmm. that it shows up front and center. But then you get this really uh, complex, full-bodied nuttiness. You don't get the smell of coffee. That's not it. It's more of like a, po a potpourri, wicker type right. of situation on the nose. But damn on that taste. And there's another thing, too, to the dip besides the coffee stout. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for the cherry sour beer. Yeah. And I'm not... I mean, if I could A-B what happened before, maybe, right. but I'm not finding it. Now, coffee stout, yeah, you gotta think about this. This, this the, the flavor that we've always described as like a, like a nutty coffee type mm. of element. The coffee stout, <clears throat> that had to go through a beer process, mm -hmm. make its way into the barrel, then go through the distillation process and the aging process, pull that out of the barrel into the whiskey, that's no. a bunch of steps removed, I think, right? No, no, no. Remember, they aged they in didn't coffee just... stout and American sour beer, beer casks. Casks, yeah. But yeah. remember, it's soaking up the beer from the cask. It's right. not being distilled after the fact. 
So they're taking their malt right. and putting it in a barrel okay, that okay. used to have coffee no, I got stuff. No, I misspoke. I misspoke. Okay. Not distilled after the fact, but basically it has to make its way into the barrel and as then, it ages. And then the new mate goes into not this new barrel. Probably not new mate. Probably not new mate. I'm guessing it's a finish. You think I'm it's, guessing it's a finished malt going into these casks. So I so you think this may be the Westland with that nutty coffee element that we mm -hmm. really liked yeah. before going into this thing and yes. then doubling down on that coffiness. That's what I think. Okay. All right. Whatever it is, hmm. weird, funky, super interesting. I'm going to compare it. Borderline challenging. I like the hell out of it. I want to compare it to the Sherry Cask Westland that are, is really accessible because I'm wondering if the Sherry Cask is going to represent to us the combination of sweet that's in the Cherry Sour Cask and the coffee note that's already in Westland right. at all. This smells more like just a sherried scotch. The finish. It's like I just drank some black coffee. Oh yeah. Oh man. So much lighter. See, the sherry cask coming back to it, it tastes to me like Dalmore. This is the sherry cask. Yeah. To me, I'm I'm now getting Dalmore from this for the first time ever. That new waxy walnut sherry cask. You see what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I get that. Um the the dark fruits mm -hmm. aren't as um deep. Wow, that There's bitterness. There. They're there. It's the bitterness of that Finnish one that's yeah. that's wrapping around the back end. I'm a black coffee drinker. Yeah, me too. Right? I, I prefer it that way. And so I'm kind of right at home. This is the a really nice um, interminglings of what, intermingling of what I really enjoy about both of these things. Yeah. Westland whiskey and black coffee. Yeah, it's really... <laughs> that's I'm not, I have no idea what the sherry sour beer cask is bringing to this equation. Yeah. I don't know. No, cher wait, cherry sour. Yeah. Cherry yeah. sour. I don't know. I don't know. But it's it's delightful. It is. And again, if you are down for that <clears throat> strong, heavy black coffee type of experience, what's the proof on that, by the way? Uh, 50. Yeah. Or 100, sorry. 100 proof, 50% alcohol. E Wolf 5150. Every one of your videos is way too long and takes forever to get to the point. It doesn't even get going until a quarter of the way in. Annoying AF. I, I really. I really feel bad for E Wolf fifty one fifty because, yeah. and I checked with YouTube. It's gonna be even funnier though. I checked with YouTube because <clears throat> our channel is the only channel he can ever watch <laughs> yeah. on any platform ever. Yeah. So he's stuck watching this. So he has to comment. The poor guy. That poor bastard. <laughs> you know what's funny about this? I looked at the video that I wouldn't have copied this one, right. except the video he posted it on right. was the one with your mooch story. And getting your necklace. Okay. So the whole first minute and a half of the video <laughs> what? is I traveled a very long time <laughs> and the journey was a long journey and then you walk in with the necklace and it's like, you know, a long time in before we right. even drink whiskey. It, it's like of all the videos. <laughs> and he says, every one of your videos. Yeah. Is which... <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. He's right. not wrong. All right. Necklace. <laughs> Nicholas Evans, I wonder if these guys are going to talk about the 25% tariff hike that takes effect on October Wait. 18th on single malt Scottish whiskey. No. Are we not going to? I'll say it. Buy all the scotch now before October 18th. <laughs> yeah, that's annoying as bro. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so final verdict on the West. My, I, I would rather have the original Sherry Cask Westland. I could. Very, this is so dramatic for me. I'm struggling. If I'm in a dramatic mood. Yes. This is the kind of drama that I could get really comfortable with. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's definitely interesting. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, just chilling and relaxing and still being super interesting, like the other Westlands. Let's, let me go back one more time. It's been enough minutes off of that. The nose. I'm getting cherry notes on the nose now. Uh, now that it's set open for a little bit, oh. go back to so the original. Sweet cherry. The sherry is presenting as a cherry and oak yeah, but with that nuttiness. This, the cherry is, is that we were looking for from the beer, mm -hmm. it's there in the nose now. Now that it's sat for a while. Yeah, I'm not getting that it. That sweet cherry note, I'm picking it up on this glass. All right. Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight me, you fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal a lover's heart. And if you drink, May you drink with us. May you drink with us. May you drink with us. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw in a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.